swing on. But for some reason in 11, they added the cameo fighters and decided to just kind of take all the background map noise out and just focus on pure skill fighting. So here we go with hopefully a great match. So what we saw last time from Onyx was a lot of mid-range, uh, whereas I feel like the Radiance that I've seen, it's been a lot of really corner play with combos, so it'll be interesting to see what Rain looks to do to counter that. So if you see with Raiden, he keeps going for that double leg sweep right there. He can start a long combo with Serena's daggers, but sadly, Jubbles plays on Xbox, so he's not used to a PS5 controller and misses that combo quite a bit. But that is why you're going to see him do a lot of kicks, because the very long combo he can start will start from these uh, leg kicks right there. Oh. Wow, what a read there out of range. Oh, dropped on a combo. Uh, wow. No chance. What a round there out of Onyx. Rain is just very unpredictable. If you don't know his character very well, he's very hard to defend against. Mortal Kombat community is very happy to see Rain come back. He was a DLC character in MK11 and was a main cast character in MK1. New people in the chat saying Onyx is the GOAT. Yeah, there's a lot of support out here for Onyx, and he has a, he's impressed when I saw him playing the first round. Yeah, this game's going very different than the other, as yeah, Onyx so is kind of pouring it down against on each other. Jubbles. Yeah, this is, uh, alright. Now, again, this is, uh, in Grand, or er, Winner's Finals, we actually saw something very similar. Um, Wild Hunt took the first match 2-0 very quickly, and then proceeded to lose it in the end, so... This mean, doesn't mean it's over for Jubbles. He's still got a, got a couple of chances left in him. Yeah, it is a best of five as their last matchup was a best of three and uh, kind of really came down to the wires. Both people took a set in the last game, came down to uh, one hit. Oh, that grab. Oh, here we go. Rain is just... See, but that is combo. what's so good about the cameo fighters in this game, is you can extend some mean combos. Goro, Serena, Cross, Striker. There's a lot of characters with a lot of uh, combo extenders. Oh, and here comes a combo from Jubbles. Oh, here we go, Jubbles finally breaking through for some type of damage. Yeah, it's going to be a long go. combo for sure. Yep, and there we go. 435 going. damage. He still is behind in this round. Not out. Oh, good oh. teleport. Reset that, and the combo uh, gets blocked. Yep. Nice round. That was a that was a good round for Jubbles, though, compared to the other rounds. Yeah, a lot more competitive. Try the instant teleport. And there's the came to just knock that off. Trying to trap him in this corner, get some type of combo going. There we go. He's got a little bit. And then hands. The best start that we've seen from Jubbles yet. He's got a pretty big health advantage here. Let's see if he can do something with it. Raiden is just such a good character, and you get somebody trapped in the corner that you can really just punish them for being stuck there. Look at these combos. Wow. A lot of uh, chip damage from Raiden. That was a that was a quick one there from Raiden. He's also started to use his teleport a lot here. Looking to kind of find ways to sneak combos in. Oh, last time we saw this from Rain, it was a fast round. Once he got that cameo going, it was quick. Not too much damage off that combo. This is still doable for doubles. Really needs to take this life unless he goes down 2-0 in match count, which would not be ideal for him. There we go, and a combo starting from Raiden. Oh, and he dropped it. 
Oh, oh, he oh and he messed it up again. Serena was supposed to do the daggers besides her sign on the bottom. Let's see if he can get another combo going for hopefully a good comeback. He's gonna have to find a combo here to get something going. Maybe something with the fatal blow. Oh. No, this looks like it's gonna be it. Oh, oh that was it right there. Yeah, he he had dropped the chance. it. Three straight combos dropped there. But again, that means Doubles has a chance here because that was a lot more competitive. He did take one life, almost took two, almost took that match, but. Yeah, I like to agree. I like to think that if maybe Jubbles didn't drop those three combos at the end, he possibly could have won that round and took that set because of that. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to rule him out just yet. We're seeing improvement here. There's a knife. That's the combo he was looking to use so last round. I hope he dropped the combo again. So one thing to look at is sometimes when Jubble starts these combos, Onyx does have a combo breaker and could drop, make him drop the combo once he finally gets it going. Oh, and punish it, the teleport. Trapped it in the corner. This looks like it's going to be a quick one for Onyx. Yep. Jubbles looks like he's he's no longer in it. He's looks like he's done. Throwing his head a little bit. So we'll see though. Wow. Oh my lord. Oh, wow. Onyx is disgustingly good with Raiden. Yeah, this rain is, uh, it's impressive. Sadly, this set is not going to go like their last set and come close. Nope. Might have nope. just learned from his combos from the previous games, but I believe that is it. Uh, that's going to be it for, thought it was a loser semi. So now coming up in Losers Finals, we will have Wild Hunt versus Onyx. So this will be a rematch, actually, of one of the, I believe, a winner's finals matchup.